Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I am going to be working on a layout today where um, I'm using um, mostly Pink Fresh Studio. Oh, it was an outdoor kind of mountain sort of collection. I cannot remember the name of it. If I think of it through this voiceover, I'll let you know. Um, but that paper I'm putting on the bottom, that col colorful stripe paper, is from that collection. And so is the next one that I'm going to add. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I really want to have a colorful background for this layout. Um, so I'm going to use the striped paper. I'm going to use kind of a lighter uh, paper with a design, like triangle design, and then a tree paper that you see uh, setting over to the right, which I believe is from an old Pebbles collection. And uh, this is not usually, I usually don't do uh, this much color behind my photo, um, but the photos that I'm going to be using have virtually no color. They're not black and white, but they're outside, um, and the only pop of color in the photos is will be the shirt my husband's wearing, uh, when you see it here, and then some of the trees. So I felt that making a bold pop of color behind the photo would really help the photo to pop off the page. Um, had I used um, a, just a white background, it, I feel like the photos would have been a little bit lost in the background unless I did a lot of layering behind the photo. So instead of doing the layering, that's why I'm adding um, these big bands of pattern paper. So I'm going ahead and ruffling up the edges of all of these papers just to add a little bit more texture and interest to the page. And uh, once I do that, I'm going to bring in my photo. My photo um, is from when my husband and I were in Jekyll Island with my when my sister got married recently in January. And there were deer in our backyard all the time. I mean, they would come up to the door and I'm assuming people have been feeding them, so they've become very friendly. But we'd never seen a deer come this close to a person before, so my husband was out there taking a picture, videotaping him, I guess. And um, I snapped a picture of him, and then a picture of the, uh, I don't think this is the deer he was looking at, this was another deer that was in the yard. But um, I really love the photos and how they turned out. So, I am going to base all of my embellishment clusters on those kind of cut wood pieces. And those are from a One Canoe Two collection. It was a whole sheet full of those. And I decided to use those as my embellishment. I am so sorry about that. Of course, I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode and it rang. Um, but back to the layout. Um, I did remember this collection is called Outfitters, and it's an older collection from Pink Paisley. And um, I have a little bit, I didn't have um, much of it, but I had a couple of the large pattern papers and some of the, and I had the 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad, as well as some leather embellishments and puffy stickers. So you'll find I do have to pull in items from my stash in order to make these clusters work. And one of those items are these Vicki Booten stickers that you can watercolor. So I'm just using a water brush and I'm dipping it right into my Distress Oxide ink and uh, just coloring those uh, flowers and I love how it turned out. Um, you can do a little bit of shading depending on how much water you use and they're super, super easy to use and not messy at all. <clears throat> so I'm gonna finish up with those. And I really liked adding those colors because it pulled the pink and the orange from that pattern paper. So now I've got three colors from that pattern paper represented besides the well, four. I have the green, pink and orange, and then the blue um, is being pulled out in my husband's shirt. So I'm super happy with how that is looking and I'm going to take those off here in a bit and start positioning them where I think they should go. Um, obviously my largest cluster is going to be around the photo there on the bottom right and that is where I'm going to end up placing the flowers and um, 
you'll see what else as well. Um, I do bring in a tree that I actually made as an embellishment and it is a stamp. It's a um, Christmas stamp actually and it's a two-step stamp so you have the um, where you stamp the main color and then you stamp over it with the darker green and I love that stamp. I love how versatile it is. It really to me is not even a Christmas stamp. In fact, I don't even keep it with my Christmas stamps. I keep it just with all of my other stamps uh, because I think for, for outdoor layouts, it works perfectly. Um, if you want to know the name of that stamp, leave a comment below and I will find it for you. I don't have it in front of me right now, um, but I will certainly let you know if anybody is interested in knowing um, the company and the name. So here I am, I'm gonna start laying down those flowers. I did uh, decide on my title, which is gonna be Hello Dear, and I thought that was a super fun title, and I was trying to figure out where I'm going to put the title. Um, if I wanted to put it across, um, you know, I, I wasn't really sure. Uh, but in the end, I do use that wood embellishment piece to anchor my title, and that's where it's going to sit, and I really like how that's gonna turn out. I love wax paper. That is the best idea that whoever came up with that for um, moving your title around. I use it almost on every layout uh, just because it's just so convenient and you don't have to worry about sticking it down and then having to pick it back up again. So I, I really, really love that. <laughs> So here are my flowers. I did put the orange one down straight onto the layout and then the pink one I did pop up with some dimension. Um, let's see, what else am I doing here? I'm going to pull in the leather pieces. There's one that says make memories today and that is gonna go there on the right. And I apologize, when I filmed this, it was, it's been a while ago since I filmed this and I had just gotten my new tripod and I'm a little bit off uh, the bottom there. I think now my setup, I've got it fixed, um, but at that time I was still uh, working on it. And my tripod, I sit while I scrapbook and I really need to be checking my camera a little bit more to make sure I'm in frame because I tend to move my layout around a lot. So I apologize for that. Hopefully that will be fixed here in the next layout or so. All right, and then um, I'm gonna do another cluster down in the left corner, which is going to consist of another leather piece, one of the wood pieces, and the leather piece says all the good vibes. <clears throat> and then I did include a puffy sticker that said good times um, a little squirrel that I found in a super old chipboard. And then um, I finished all of the clusters off with some puffy hearts, enamel hearts, and enamel dots. And I'm, I'm loving how that is working out. The wood grain um, uh, thicker that I have there, that is from my stash. I've had that for, for a while and I probably got it at Tuesday morning. And as you can see, I'm definitely gluing down each one because we all know that um, chipboard thickers are not going to stay on your page for very long. And then the deer, I actually got those on the, that, that, those, that thicker set on a give and take table at a retreat for Heather's Crafty Life and it's gold foam and then it's black on the edges and so i like the little bit of a shadow that it casts with the black edges and um yeah so i really love how the, how that title turned out and you notice how i spelled deer um oh i wanted to spell it d-e-e-r i need to change that i spelled it the right way i was trying to be funny and spell it d-e-e-r and now that i'm looking at it I have to go back and change that. So that's what you get when you do voiceovers. You get to see your layout in another perspective and realize what you meant to do and then what you actually did do. Or you put things in a place and you decide you didn't like it and then you go back on your voiceover and you're like, oh shoot, I really did like it there. So I'm gonna go back and change that though. 
So here is a puffy sticker I'm going to use on that top left. I really wanted to bring the orange up to that corner and that puffy sticker worked out perfectly. And then uh, you'll see I do end up scattering a bunch of those sequins and puffy hearts around that cluster as well. So I'm curious, what are your favorite types of layouts to scrap? I really enjoy outdoor layouts and beach photos. Those seem to be my very favorite to scrap. Um, and maybe it's because the photos themselves are, are usually really good because of the natural light. But um, I'm curious, do you like to scrap um, like birthdays or do you like to scrap um, events or just everyday pictures? What, what's your favorite, uh, favorite type of pictures to scrap? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comments below. So here I'm finishing everything up. I'm going to sprinkle around those embellishments and then I'm going to be finished up here and I will move that layout up so you can see the bottom and again I apologize for that and then in the end I am going to have some close-up shots of each of the clusters um, so I'm so glad you all came to my channel I would love for you to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video definitely subscribe and um, yeah come back for some more I am going to be starting a new series starting in April it's going to be um, once a month, um, every, the first Wednesday of every month, and it's going to be a mixed media series. Um, and it's going to be more of a beginning mixed media because I don't do a whole lot. Um, but I'm hoping to share what I have learned with some of you and hopefully um, get you to be comfortable maybe pulling out those watercolors or pulling out your stamps or your modeling paste and uh, not be afraid to try those things. So stay tuned. Uh, my first layout will be the first uh, layout in, or first Wednesday in April. Thanks for coming by, guys. Have a great day.